I'll now show you my agenda. Basically, when I'm working on new projects or things to do, I always like to write them down. Especially when a new idea comes into my head or I suddenly remember something. I want to write it down quickly and then save it somewhere. Well, this is what my agenda will do. As you can see, when I click on it, it takes you straight to a to-do list and then you've got a completed list there. So, it's very simple to use, just like before with the add button at the bottom. Then you've got two disabled buttons at the moment, you've got a delete entry and task completed. If we go to add a new task, you'll see a simple box. Here we are. You can add your task here. So, let's just put something like create... Create a video for Content Shield. Then category, you've got homework, exercise or other, we'll put work. And then we can add that entry and there you'll see it appear. You've got the date you've added it and then the time. Right, I'll add one more task in. Let's see. Submit application. Do the marketplace. And then again we'll choose work. And then we'll add that entry in. Then what you can do here, you can either you can click on these entries, you can either once you've completed it, you can click task completed, or if you just want to delete it, you can delete that entry. Now, well, since we've created a video for Content Shield, I'll click Task Completed because that's what we're doing now. So, Task Completed, if you scroll over to Completed, you've got a tick icon and it tells you what you've completed and what time and what date you've completed it on. Now, after adding this feature, we thought, what other ways can I be reminded about things that need doing? So, I added a couple extra little things in to remind the user that tasks are not complete and that they still need to be done. So if we go, that was the last task we submitted, so if we go back from this, click the back icon, then you'll see the latest one appears at the top of the main menu, which is Submit Application to the Marketplace. Now with this you can leave it as it is there, and it'll stay there, or you can click it, and as soon as you click it, you'll go straight in to the agenda and it'll tell you what you've got and then it's disappeared from there and then if I were to add another that would appear there but not only that we've got one thing added there so if I from here if I hit the windows key windows button there and then we look at content shield here you'll see it's got a one next to it which is how many tasks are left to be completed which are incomplete so obviously if I had more than one thing added then that number would be two, three, four, if I took one away then it would go down one. So if I, if I took the current task away that would go from one to blank. So if we go back into this, and then I think that's that section covered. Very simple to use. And if we go out of this now, the next section is the shopping section which is not quite complete yet so that will be shown in another video probably next week because we're still finishing off parts on that basically the shopping shopping section has different lists a food list for your weekly or daily food shop a partners list which can be used for birthdays and christmas and great with the password restriction on there so if they have your phone they cannot view the list you've created for them you cannot see what you're going to get them it will also have a comparison section where you can click on an item shopping item and then the cheapest option will show up via a web browser and show you the place to purchase and the price so it's quite handy to use again it will be made very simple to use just like the other sections right now we'll go to the settings obviously the main points of the application is to store and protect your data I've shown all the storing parts and now it's time to demonstrate the protection side so if I click onto the settings, you can set restrictions and take them away any time and you want to get started. <laughs> yeah. 
here you can see the password settings and then the preference settings obviously to the left or right whichever way you scroll to the left here you've got these options but they're not enabled at the moment until you set an application password right, well, I'll go ahead and set this password now this can be done at any time whenever you want to set the restrictions so if I set an application password I'll just put blue confirm that one then I'll put password hint favourite favourite colour depending on what country you can spell it different favourite colour confirm that and then your application password is now set please use this in future when setting your application preferences so that's all disabled now then the preferences have become enabled so now we can go ahead and tick these and then start setting some restrictions whichever you want to restrict for the first one I'd set is the viewing settings obviously that way when anyone's got a hold of your phone they cannot come into the settings and then take all the restrictions off so I'll tick the settings and then I'll also tick viewing my passwords to demonstrate how it works then let's go back after ticking them let's see if I go into my agenda it all works fine I'm straight in then obviously if I go into my passwords it asks for the password and then password hint will show up there it's just not in this build at the moment then you can either click cancel if you don't want to go in or if you want to go in blue is the password as I've just set confirm and I'm in then I've got my social password there and then I've also got the instant messaging password which I've set so then it's asking me to for if I want to go into the settings it's asking me for that then I'm into the settings now I'll take the passwords one off and then I'm straight in like that one final thing before I wrap this up you've noticed the theme here is all black if I go to let's say if I go out of this application I exit I go into the settings change the theme to light and then I'll go back into the application you notice it's all white now so I just wanted to give pe people the option to keep with the current theme as I've mentioned this is the first version of my first application I'll hear. I would love to hear your feedback and new features you would like to see added over on our Twitter which you can see at the bottom of this video and I hope you enjoy using Content Shield. It will be placed in the marketplace for Mango users very soon and I hope of course it will be free to download for all. Thank you.